So all right, YouTube, today we are going to play some Bant Alluren. This deck here is a creature combo deck. Here come the cards from Card Hoarder, so give me one hot second. It's a creature combo deck that centers around the card Alluren. And what Alluren does is it lets you uh, play all of your creatures that cost three or less at instant speed, and you don't have to pay their mana cost. So the deck revolves around... Um, Recruiter of the Guard being a sweet um, tutor package that can not only find you the win, but it can also find um, some interaction in the form of Spellcaller or Vendillion Click or Reclamation Sage, but it can also just find you your Cavern Harpy combined with your Parasitic Strix to just bounce, you know, with, with no regard for human life and just kill your opponent so besides that it's just kind of a bant mid-range deck so i'm excited to give this a whirl vma brainstorms those kind of, i think the brainstorms are cool they're all they all look cool all right while we're waiting for this to pop up i'm just going to go and grab a little bit more coffee and some water You guys are all killing me with your your cards here i get whatever card hoarder gives me because card hoarder is great they provide me with magic cards this stream would not be happening without the amazing card hoarder card hoarder also has a loan program y'all should check out let me tell my buddy i'm playing this is my friend's deck so i will let my friend know we're playing their deck out of here all right here we go all right i actually have to go update this to uh update my stream title to bant alluren bant alluren so update Um, I'm going to keep this hand. We have a little bit of cantrips. We have a noble hierarch. We have some of the combo. You know, we have a little bit of interaction. I don't know whether you tried Bug Food Chain, but it's well positioned right now. Both miracles are perhaps to the buys, and some way is 50 50. Ooh, we're going to get a little taste of our own medicine here. Gamble. That sounds like a forcible card. All right, so I'm just going to get like a trop. Yeah, it's the 61 card special. That's what he gave me. All right, well, now I'm going to get a forest and play this hierarch. I'm going to make sure I started my YouTube video. Yeah, I did. God, I'm so good at doing that. Do I need to turn a light on? Yeah, it looks a little dark. I probably should have figured that out between the last league. All right, so just getting a shelter ticket, which is good. We can just F6 because we're not going to interact here. Tabernacle. How do I pay? Yes. Interesting. 
Stone Forge Mystic goes against Umazawa's Jite. We have to pay two, so it's not that great. We're going to wait on the Mystic. I think I just want to find more interaction. All right, well, that's kind of what we're looking for. Let's put these two on top. Draw the land. We'll draw one, and then we'll shuffle it away. Maybe I'll recruit the guard for another noble hierarch also. That's just more creatures at play. Yep, that's good. It's my first time playing this deck, so it might get a little rocky. So, so they have the combo. So let me pull the deck up here. I'll pay for this. I'll just use itself. Yep. Okay, so let's go look at the deck list here and see what we can do. Um... I need more mana, but I need more mana. The problem is if I draw creature mana, that that's not good. I basically just need to draw a land next turn and I'm in good shape. I would just try everything to have a Lauren in play and recruiter in hand. Yeah, so like, I basically just need to spike a land next turn. And then I win. Because then we just go bing, 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 bing. So I guess I'll just play my land. Stoneforge basically doesn't really do anything for me. It lets me get an Umazawa's Jete, which could like buy me a turn, I guess, if this doesn't work out, but in order for it to buy me a turn, I would have to hit a land drop to go like put into play equip. But then I couldn't even, but I can't, I can't even do that. So I'm just not even gonna play the mystic. I'm just gonna pass, fetch, and then hope we hit, I think. Yeah, so I'm gonna shuffle. We have an Aluren on top of our deck. I forgot to say the spiel, but again, this is a donation deck list for the Barrero uh, brothers. They are twins on the Canadian national wrestling team. They're looking to raise funds to go to trials, to train. So if you donate $10 to the Barreros, then I will play your deck on stream. Um, just let me know. I won't be able to play again until next week after Monday. I'm, I have six decks in the queue, five right now. Oh, I guess six, or five to do this week. Um, okay. Exploration. Okay. Okay, so this buys me another turn. All right. Now I wish I played my Stoneforge Mystic. So I'm gonna go get myself like a savanna here, I think. Just something like probably I just want another green source, another white source. I don't really need blue that much because I have this and this. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I guess. Yeah, I want to have two green lands. All right. Then you show up on mtgstreams.com. Okay. Maybe I should have got a basic there. So pay for the hierarch. Um, legacy ban alone. Yes. 
opponent ports me. Okay. Force of will. I'm in a lot of trouble now. I guess I can just play Stoneforge Mystic to take the Umazawa's Jitte out of my deck to give me a better chance at drawing lands. I don't know. Like, and then I'm just going to let the, um, just let the Mystic die. But I'm in a tough spot here. First time playing this deck, so we, we might mess up here. Will you be in pit? No, I'm. My magic is a little um, is a little hamstrung this right now because my wife and I are looking to relocate, and uh, Phil's been having some medium health, so it's been causing some issues. So I don't want to pay for the Stoneforge Mystic. I will pay for the Hierarch. Land. You gonna port me or are you gonna... So they can't port and kill me unless they have like a crop rotation for an Ancient Tomb, but I think I know my opponent's hand. Yeah, Phil's been just struggling a little bit. Land. Tilt. So now I'm just dead because I don't have a way to bring back the parasitic Strix. Like I don't have, I don't have like a, whatever it is, like a, an eternal witness. So even if I play this in block, I can't combo off with a Lauren and win. So I might as well just scoop it up to make it so my opponent doesn't. Though I could just wait and maybe they will. Yeah, I'm just going to play this. Maybe they will go for it. Like, in the face of a path. Or of a plow. But if my opponent goes for it, I'm dead. Scooping it up. All right, so against lands. Frozen Grip, Solid Pride Mage. This sword's not great. Um, Palace Jailer is just expensive, but it's like, if you just get it in play, they're never gonna take it back and you're gonna draw a million cards a turn. Um, I probably don't need Quickling. Spell Pierce is not great also. I think maybe the entire Stoneforge package just sucks. Rex Sage can hit Library. It can hit um, a bunch of different stuff. So probably keep that in. Quickling could help protect from Punishing Fire, I guess. That seems kind of like a losing battle. When you play DNT, okay. Priest doesn't do anything, right? Knight of Autumn. I don't know how many of this effect I want, though. I think I want the Jailer, because they're never going to get out of that, you know? But, like... I don't want to make my curve too high, though. I don't know. I really don't know the best way to do this. Because now I've got like 42 four drops in my deck, which is probably too much against like lands. Did I, where did my spell pierce go? I'm going to cut a jailer. 
Look how Ace Bell appears. Because he's never going to take the Monarch back, and that might be enough. Oh, 61. We have to have the 61 card special here. All right, we have 61. I'm just going to play the Jailer. I don't know. A lot of cards I don't think are that great. This just seems like a pretty tough matchup. I got two Stoneforge Mystic with a sword. Okay. We'll keep this one. Put it on the bottom. The problem is I don't know what to... Like, maybe those Bell Pierces are better when I'm on the play. All right, there's lands. The top card is a... The top spell is a Jailer, and I don't really want that. Well, I'm going to play this, uh, probably play this Stoneforge Mystic and then bust out this Reclamation Sage here. I'm going to get a Forest. I don't want my Pride Mage to get um, Punishing Fired. Yeah, I probably should have had Pierce on the play. Pierce on the draw, not great. Pierce on the play, pretty great. We could just die. Like, if my opponent just makes a 20-20, then, like, we're just pretty cold to that. Okay, trackers, whatever. Trackers, very annoying, but... I'm just going to blow this up. I could, like, ponder for a land to make sure that I hit, but that doesn't do anything without, like, even if I get the Allurn in play, I can't, um... I can't kill any of uh, any of my opponents. Um, I, I can't kill them. So maze of it. Okay. I'm going to block. I'm going to block, make my opponent spend mana. Stop them from doing something. Maybe they have something else to do this turn. I don't know. All right. We're going to find a land drop. No, play this. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to fetch right now so my opponent can't get tricky with my Stoneforge Mystic. Get a forest so that we have double green. I bet I would not. I would kill the clue. They didn't have a second land that turn. I was back with a loan. But I don't know. Okay. Well, they also could draw a gamble and then get it back. They might just gamble for whatever it is. Um, they could gamble for loam, but they also could just gamble for dark depths. Grove. Hopefully they don't have punishing fire to go with it. I'm going to sneak this sword into play. Gamble. Okay. So this is either for Punishing Fire or for Dark Depths. Let's 
So it's probably four punishing fire. Kill. All right, I'm just going to equip here, I guess, because I can re-equip if I need to. Yeah, we get fired here. All right, now I'm going to equip on to the... Oh, this just gets whacked by Maze of Ith. That was dumb. All right, play this out. Yeah, that was stupid. I should just I should have just played my Aloran. Because the Aloran, I guess, uh, I don't know. If the Aloran gets in play, and I have something, I don't have to worry about mana efficiency. Yeah, I play my Lauren to make it so I don't have to spend mana next turn. Well, that doesn't do anything. Punishing fire. My opponent fires the Pride Mage. I'll probably just, like, hit the clue. Yeah, I'm going to make them tap their mana so that they can't interact with anything that I'm doing. And then we're just going to top deck a recruit of the guard like a professional. <sighs> All right, come on. Come on, recruit of the guard. Wasteland. Still looking for a recruit of the guard. There we go. Cast with a Lauren. Oh no, that doesn't do it yet. Okay, so I def it doesn't actually kill them because I can't get both pieces of the combo. I can't get Palace Jailer because I can't cast it. Parasitic Strix enters the battlefield if you control a black permanent. Does Cavern Harpy bounce? Return a blue or black creature you control to its owner's hand. How do we get another recruiter? Oh, get... How does that work, though? This is my first time playing this deck, so... Pay one life, return Kevin Harpy to his opponent's hand. Oh, I boarded out the Quickling. I didn't realize the Quickling was a combo piece. I did not, I thought Quickling was like a value card. No. Rot row. Okay, Knight of Autumn. Can also get Venser to bounce part of the combo. Yeah, I made a mistake. So I should just go get all of my recruiters and then save. But I need to get two creatures. I can't get two creatures. That's the problem. Like, get recruiter, play, get recruiter, play, get recruiter, get the last recruiter, go get Venser. Go, then play the recruiter. Recruiter goes and gets Cavern Harpy. Return Venser. Play Venser. Bounce Recruiter. Go get Palastrix. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Took me a hot second. We can't do it with Venser this turn, which is our problem.
Yeah, we can't do it with Venture this turn, but. Oh, cast with a Lauren. I guess I could be doing this with Flash, right? So I should wait. Yeah, I should wait. And then do this. Because we can do it with Flash. Okay. All right, all right. First time playing this deck, so we're, we're learning here. Yeah, so we're going to have to play around Punishing Fire a little bit here. Like, the thing is, we can also, like, force the Punishing Fire by attacking with the, the Sword of Fire and Ice. Or they can just not block. No, that doesn't do it because they also have Maze of it. Okay, so I'm just going to chump. Whew. Yeah. So we're going to have to see if we can hit a draw step here. Gamble is okay. Discard Festering Sage. Oh, they grip that? Okay. So we're good now. If my opponent doesn't play a land because we have the second one. So now we're good. All right, let's see if we can do this right. Yes. So now we go get... Oh, no, we can't do it because we don't have the mana. No! Yeah, we still can't venture because I, I didn't know that the Quickling was the card that made it happen. So we're not going to be able to combo off with them having Punishing Fire up. So I'm just going to get this Recruiter. And I should have just done nothing. I'm going to get this Recruiter. And then on my turn, we're going to go get Palace Jailer. Hold this all back. Yeah, then we're just going to Palace Jailer our opponent. Which is what I should have done. No, because I had to play the Alluren. All right, we're learning. We're learning. This will be a this will be a meme video. I block. Can we get back? Does this balance Cavern Harpy? Return Cavern Harpy. I have to pay one life. So I can just do this all with it on the stack, right? So I still, I'm still good. I can't win this turn because I can just do everything on the stack. No, I can't because I can't do it because I, I run out of mana. I can't bounce my stuff enough. With the Venser, once I play R Recruiter, I just open myself up to getting hit by Punishing Fire if I do that. So I'm just like, screw this. Yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna go cast this with a Lauren. I can't. I can't do it because I don't have enough mana to continue to bounce my stuff. 
because I boarded out the quickling, not knowing that the quickling was part of the combo. I thought the quickling was just like a cute value card you could have in play. All right, just gonna attack with this. Get that exalted. Now I'm out of recruiters, so like, shit, but you know, this is where we're at. Mistakes were made, chat. No, don't crop rotation me. No, I was having so much fun messing up. Ghost quarter. What are they get ghost quarter for? They just like board out their dark depths or something? What, what's going on? Uh oh. Exploration shore. They probably trend on them. Okay. Okay, put these back. Ponder, shuffle. All right, well, my opponent's not going to kill me for a while. Yeah, the Queller's nice. We're not going to attack because they just either maze or block. Yeah, trying to figure out how to actually win with this deck is so difficult. Yeah, I can hit the Punishing Fire. Which this means if I if I hit it, I should be good. Grab this. We're going to put the Cavern Harpy or the whatever back in our deck. Make yourself 2020. Okay. All right, pass. I probably Vendillion click my opponent when they go to attack. Gamble is not okay. I'm going to see what their last card is before I figure out to counter this or not. Even though I boarded out some of the combo, like, I think I'm still okay. My opponent's last card is Riftstorm, Riftstone Portal. I'll chump with the click. Merit Lage comes a knocking. Don't want to give my opponent the monarch back. Okay, they draw. They have Riftstone Portal X. Whew. Alright, so that's what they drew. They drew Wasteland. Sure.
All right, come on. No. Um, I guess we'll just put these back, play this, and I will attack my opponent. Which card do I want them? I want them to get rid of Gamble, I guess. Get this mediocre beats going on. I have to make sure to fetch right now. I should do this right now because I can just win if I hit right. No. All right, well, at least I've got force up for something. Like I can force up with a gamble. I don't really know what my opponent does with this. No, I'm not playing the challenge today. It would not be good for me to play a Lauren today. Because I have no idea what I am doing here. We're playing this for a donation for the Barrero brothers. Uh, I cannot cast Palace Jailer because I'm an idiot. But Jailer's an answer to Merit Lady, so I'm probably just going to take it. Attack. Yeah, I mean, we're like, we're in it. We're in it with just derpy, derpy creature beats. They didn't maze? No, they're not a maze. Alright. The problem is we're gonna I should have played I should have done that the other way so I could fetch away the card that I want on top there. So now they get punishing fire back, which is a little annoying. This is kinda like Merit Lage versus the Monarch. They just fired me. Okay. Grove, return. If they do P fire hierarch, game's over. Because they would just maze of it the thing that we equip. So if I go to three, I don't know, whatever, I get, if I go to three, they get this back, send me to four, send me to two, get this back, send me to one, all right, whatever, we gotta figure it out. Send the one to one, we don't made our two, two. Well, then it makes it a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm a little overwhelmed with what's going on here. Get it back. I go to 3. Do you have another, do you have another fire in hand? Because if you get it back, I, go, I, I still get up there. What I really need to do is do it in response to them getting this back, right?
Okay, so they get it back. All right, we pass. Okay, is my opponent gonna do it? Yes, they are. All right, scoop it up. Okay, so we made some mistakes there, obviously, but like, it's my first time playing the deck, so I'm, I'm gonna make mistakes. It's It ain't gonna be perfect. But it was kind of cool that we had a shot, even though we boarded out our combo piece. I didn't realize that was a combo piece. I thought that the Quickling was like this alluring value card against like control decks. I didn't realize that you needed it to actually kill your kill your opponent. I also just played like an asshole, which like just just not knowing, which is gonna happen. That's good enough for the first time. Yeah. Okay. I would like to play first. Rid of that. Alright, we'll keep this. Give me the keep here. Um I'm gonna put this on top and I'm just gonna go fetch land and go. Because like I'm pondering for a land anyways. So if I ponder right now, I piss away my draw. So Urborg. Came at the right and at the right moment. If you've seen the last match, you'd have thought it was the right moment. Whew, that was bad. I appreciate everybody showing up and hanging out. You all are great. You all are great here. Remember, we're doing this for the Barrero wrestling Barrero wrestlers. Um, you know, you can go exclamation point wrestling to see what they're up to. There. It's a mod only one, which I I, I still can't figure out how to fix. I'm not very good with the, uh, um, to my ponder. What a jerk. Not very good with the commands there, but the Barreros are two people that I used to play magic with. So I have to watch standard. Nice. There are two players that I used to play magic with, um, back at home and they're a part of the Canadian national wrestling team. So they're just trying to raise funds. So a $10 donation to the Barreros or myself, then I will play your deck through a league. We have currently have six decks working on. I'm working on this one. We're going to play Elves next. And then after that, I'm going to play this Tron deck here. Um, then Blue White Control. And then I have a Gen Shadow deck to play. Might not get to all of them today, but it is a goal. Had a lot of follows. I appreciate all of those coming through. Takes my spell, Quillier. Plays forest or swamp. All right. I guess I could have forced that. Probably should have forced that. I can force the the hex mage that comes down. All right. When's your next stream? Um, I won't be streaming for a little while because uh, I'm going up to Vermont for a wedding. So I want to hide this Aloran. I can hide this Aloran 2 back now. 
and we'll pass. Um, probably be streaming again like next Monday. Oh, I'm gonna stream. He's right underneath me. Hey boy. Hey boy. Twitch chat wants to say hi. All right, we're going for a ride. Twitch chat. We can go. Oh nope, that doesn't work anymore. I don't understand why it doesn't work. Hang on. I don't understand why it doesn't work. You're killing me. You're killing me, technology. All right, everybody, check out Phil. This combless Philly boy. Found it. Oh, good boy. High five. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. He didn't. High five. Hey, high five. Oh, other hand. Switching it up. What a, what a basketball player. Wasteland is rude. Wasteland probably means I can't win. Because we're just like brainstorm locked. So. I literally, when I fetched there, I was like, man, I don't think that the uh, the Dark Depth deck plays that many uh, plays that many Wastelands, so I was okay. Turns out I wasn't. But yeah, he's just chilling out. What do you got? You're going to crop rotation? I'm going to force a little that. Pitch. I'm going to pitch Vendillion Click because he knows about it. And I'm not never going to cast it. I don't think so. I'm not sure. I am not sure. Uh, okay, we'll just pass. I need to hit a land like Pronto. All right, there's a Tomb of Yagamoth. Vampire Hexmage, no sir. All right. All right, there's the there's step one. Get a tropical island. And pass. We hit a land next turn, and then we hit recruiter the guard, and we got it. Oh jerk! At least we're not dying. All right. Well, we 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 got half of what we wanted. Hey boy. All right. Bob is not good. All right. Well, I'm just gonna play it. Like I they, I could hit a mox, but that's not gonna do anything. They're not gonna have main deck bitter blossoms. Rut row. I think I'm just cold to that. All right, my opponent goes for it. We're dead. All right, scooping it up. Okay, so now to sideboard. Um, this Umazawa's Jitte is probably not great. Um, well, it kills. It can kill Bob. Well, so can Cavern Heart, or so can Sword of Fire and Ice. We're not boarding out Quickling. We learned that last match. They're probably gonna have like Liliana's. So I don't think these are great. Jailer can kill Merit Lage. God, I just love Palace Jailer. Like that's that's basically just what it comes down to. Containment Priest doesn't do anything. Venser can get rid of Palace Jailer. Can get rid of uh, whatever it is as well. Reclamation Sage, Pride Mage, or Medium. Flusterstorm. I guess I kind of want like a Flusterstorm effect. Like, there's a chance Force of Will is just bad against the Him to Torok deck. Especially considering we don't have that many blue cards. So if we want to fight discard, I think it's better to do it with Flusterstorm. 
Because, like, I kind of just want to play, like, I kind of just want to play all these bombs, to tell you the truth. Like, because how this deck works is if you, like, they just grind you out, and then they find a way to deal with Merit Lage. And if we have, like, Jace, Venser, um, and if we just keep in, like, clicks, then we can just fog for a turn, and then we can, like, just deal with the, um, deal with the Merit Lage and set them so far back. All right, we're going to get a little experimental here. No, we don't want to board this out. That card wins me the game. That was a mistake. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to run to the bathroom before we start, though. to play first and I'm just gonna keep most hands that let me like play magic against the discard deck I might brainstorm because I can shuffle with the Stoneforge mystic but and I have two of them I also might hide the Stoneforge mystic And I don't have the best idea of exactly what's going on here. I think I'm gonna brainstorm though. Like I want, I want to find some interaction. Though I am just cold to like land, because I boarded out my force of wills. I am cold to like dark depths into whatever the card is. Hex Mage. Don't want that so this fogs this thing forever, so we're gonna keep that. Let's just get rid of a couple lands. Put, yeah. Go get planes, so we just keep the developing our mana. Oh, but that makes it so that I can't cast a Lauren now, because this is an island. Let me go get the Safi. <clears throat> yeah, so what we have to do... No, we actually can't cast... Because of how Nilla built his deck, we can't cast Cavern Harpy. Um, without Aloran in play. So I should have shuffled that away. Sylvan Scrying, okay. It's all right, I can brainstorm and then go get a Savannah. Okay. So now we can set our mana up. So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. 
I'm just gonna fetch right now so that we don't get whacked. I'm gonna get like a uh, blue green land. Uh, the stream might be tweaking out a little bit on my end. There, I can't exactly see what's going on. So my opponent grabbed a Dark Depths. Pretty cold to a... Alright, well, maybe. Alright, I'm going to sneak this into play. So that wins me the game, I think. Here we go. Twitch chat, we're gonna give it a try here. Hopefully, now, hopefully we can execute this. Castle of Lauren. Yes. Okay, so how are we going to do this? So, Quickling gets bounced. Okay, so now we go get Quickling. Play Quickling, pick up Recruiter. We have kind of blown out by an abrupt decay here, but whatever. Like we still have time and we have a brainstorm and a Lauren's on the board. Okay. And I actually do want to pick up the Stoneforge Mystic because I might want to shuffle off of my brainstorm. Oh, I'll do it right here. Sorry about that. I'm still working on getting that all set up. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, at least we can block it. If we have another decay, we're dead. But... Yes, yeah, so I'll play any deck you want on stream here. This might be a quick league. All right, here comes. Nope, we're dead. Beats. The beats. Palace Jailer next card would be nice. All right, so we're... 0204, some of that's been my fault. Like, I didn't realize in the first match that Quickling was a way to combo and win. I'm gonna grab some water. But yeah, all these videos here going up for the rest of the month are going to be in are going to be benefiting the Barrero Brothers. So again, if you donate directly to the Barrero Brothers or directly to me, I can show me uh, via you know that you donated to the Barrero Brothers. I will play your deck on stream. We'll play anything you want. Give it a whirl. Because we're we're donating to a good cause. I'll keep this hand. 
Uh, we'll put that on top because we don't want this jet. Adventure Sticker. Interesting. Play this pass. I'm not going to brainstorm end of turn. Excuse me. Glimmer posed. Okay, so I think this is probably a pretty solid matchup for us. It's a Grim Monolith. No, sir. So let me get a trop. Get two Simeon Spear Guides. All right, so I'm looking for, I'm gonna brainstorm because these two cards are pretty bad, okay? So I don't want this, I don't want this. Now I'm gonna go get a Tundra and Ponder. And I'm just looking to hit a land drop. Neither of these are lands. Okay. Stone Forge Mystic is like whatever. It's not that great. We're going to play Elves after this. We're going to go Force Pitch Force. All right. Can't let that one go. So I might actually hold my brainstorm now. Because yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna hold the brainstorm. Play this. I'm gonna go get a Safi. And then pass. One, two, three, metal worker. Okay. Things might get a little sketchy here a bit. That card's not gonna do anything. Hey, stop it. All right, there's our land. So let's just hide. Kinda have to hide both Alorans. Then I might like click myself in response or click them in response to this. And then I can put the click and play next turn, attach it. Oh, I can't. Oh, that's not how that works. I thought I could respond to this and then make less. You can't respond to Melworker. Yeah. We learned. I can respond to that, though. I have no idea how Trinisphere plus um, Aloran works. Trinisphere wins? Okay. So then we're just winning with Vendillion Click in Sword of Fire and Ice this game. That's how it's going. This is gonna be a funny YouTube video. Hopefully they just didn't hit a big monster. Oh, they can go get the fair now. Fair gets an artifact though. I'll get Sundering Titan. Because it is an artifact. Okay. It does cost eight, so three, six, eight. They can do it. They just blow up three of my lands. Transfer always wins. So now I'm dead. Because I can't actually race this thing. And we have two Alorans on top of our deck. So 
So I had to do that in response. Like, so which is good to know. Like, I had to do that before they could make mana. Because Crows and Grip's good. Kasali Pride Mage is good. Knight of Autumn is good. Umazawa's Jitte is not good. Um, we're on the play, so, like, Spell Pierce is fine. Spell Queller, we probably don't want all of these. And we probably can just cut a Stoneforge Mystic. That's not really what we're doing. We want to just interact and then land. Spell Pierce is decent on the play. On the draw, we're probably going to try to cut it for something. What that something is, we'll figure it out if we get to play on the draw. It's just the list that I got. I would like to play first. Can I get rid of this? Um, we don't have any man acceleration. We have an Aluren, a Pride Mage, a Crows and Grip. I'm going to keep this hand. Looks like I'm going to have to restart Moto. Alright, I am going to just play Stoneforge Mystic. Get the Safi. <clears throat> Hopefully we hit a land drop. The game's not really about Stoneforge Mystic. Metalworker, that thing's dead. Ooh. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Bang. I had a lot of such a sweet card. My hand is pretty good, yeah. If we hit the land, I win. If they don't, I still, like, am able to... Okay, yeah, so now we got it. Okay, so now we get this. Play out of Lauren. Alright, so now we can do it. Yes. So now we go get Quickling. Play Quickling. Okay, they scooped it up. So we go pick up Recruiter, play Recruiter, go get the one that makes so we can bounce a blue permanent, play that, bounce Quickling, play Quickling, bounce that, Bounce Recruiter, play Recruiter, go get the other combo piece, and brrr. Okay. Okay, so Spell Pierce is going to be much worse on the draw. So, probably like Spell Queller, and then like whatever to deal with. Like, they're never going to take the Monarch from me if we somehow make it past the first set. But probably Venser is decent as well. Because these spell piercers just aren't going to have text on the draw. Yeah, I think this is what we're going to do. 
Because we can, like, recruit her for these and we get into, like, a grindy game. Alright, we have Force Plus Blue Card and Man Acceleration, so we're going to keep. And we have to force this because it'll just name Flooded Strand, which is very unfortunate. Well, now we, if we'd have known what we were going to draw, we'd be good, but... But we do not. All right, that's going to die. So we could win the game next turn. Okay. Alright, you could have I guess Glimmer Post. Oh well, we should get a Mox Diamond. Because like if they have cloud posts, it'll make it better eventually. Recruiter. Um I'm gonna put it on the table because I don't want it to get thought nuts here. Like I don't think my opponent's realistically gonna have any way to deal with this once it's in play. I really hope my opponent doesn't flash in a metal worker. Guess I'll just give my opponent chalice. Cause lodestone golem actually makes it so I can't really go off. City traders, I can do chalice for three. All right, that's kind of a beating. All right, you got it. Quickling, not great. All right, we're going on the derpy creature beatdown plan. You keep tapping that chalice, sir, or tapping that ancient tomb. Sundering Titan is fine. Uh, you and Pony Club deck. Make a construct. Cast the Lord. Um, no. What? Oh, God. I just didn't even want to bounce anything. That was a May. Well, now I'm dead. That was my fault. Like, I, I could have at least played it, bounced, played this again, attacked them for three. Then we take damage, attack them for three again. We get one more draw step. We hit spell player. We can't cast it. It's force. Oh, so we would have... No, we'd have been okay. Yep. All right. Well, we're going to call it with that league there. That was my fault. Didn't really, didn't play that well.